Just visit the new CalgaryHerald.com with more of everything worth knowing. Heavy equipment makes quick work of the old row house buildings. The five decade old structures are no match. I think by the end of the day we should have all these wiped out. Workers have been preparing for this day for more than a month. First sealing the structures, then clearing out asbestos and other hazardous materials before the big machines can move in. Water keeps the dust down, uh, especially with the age of the building. If, if we didn't have any water on there, it'll be dust flying all over into the community there. Uh, Lakeview's been such a good community to us that we want to go on a, go on too much debris going to their area. Virgil Jacobs takes a Herald reporter and photographers in for a close look at the demolition. The units were first used as military housing for CFB Calgary. When the military left in 1989, Black Bear Crossing was born. Evidence of the severe housing shortage on the reserve. At one point, 850 people called this complex home. The rundown homes were eventually condemned, and after lengthy legal battles, Black Bear Crossing was emptied. Band officials have said the land will be a green space, but Jacobs says a number of development ideas are being considered for the land that borders 37th Street Southwest and the Lakeview community. We've looked at probably all three options, and we've all considered all of them serious, uh, but we're trying to figure out well, which one's going to be the best one for the nation. So it may not be the final chapter in Black Bear's colorful history. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.